They're in the gate. And they're off. Good start for Swaggish, and so too King of Kentucky. And King of Kentucky comes on through, and Swaggish moves with him. These two head-to-head early. Camp Gray backs off to be third. Valuable Cargo advancing inside up into fourth. Locos on the move from fifth. Scotch No Rocks in sixth, and Cousin Odell's in seventh as they move down the backstretch run. Swaggish comes on to grab the lead. King of Kentucky was in tight. Had to slam on the brakes there and is now two and a half lengths behind Swaggish. Camp Gray is racing third, five lengths back. Valuable Cargo is fourth. The opening quarter goes in 22 and four-fifth seconds. Round the far turn. Swaggish has built a three-length lead. Heading for the quarter pole. King of Kentucky's under a ride. Camp Gray's third outside. The rest with a lot of work to do as they hit the top of the stretch. And it's all Swaggish. Swaggish rolls off the turn. The lead is six now. King of Kentucky and Camp Gray and Valuable Cargo. And there's one for long to go. And it's Swaggish who's built an insurmountable lead. It's nine lengths into the final hundred yards. And it will be Swaggish swaggering to the wire in the opener. Geared down to win it in the end by eight lengths. King of Kentucky was second. Tight for third there. Valuable Cargo, Scotch, No Rocks, and Camp Gray. And they're off. And Fifth Avenue breaks in stride and quickly races for the lead and opens up by two. El Peligro back racing second. Lambo broke near the back but is raced up to grab second from El Peligro who's back into third. Tecna's fourth and Hey Jojo's in fifth. Far turn. Fifth Avenue's in front. Fifth Avenue, the leader, by a length and a half as they move on to the turn. With Lambo on the chase in second. El Peligro's back in third. And then it's Hey Jojo in fourth. And at the back is Tecna as they round the turn. Fifth Avenue got an opening quarter in just 23 seconds flat. But right there is Lembo, a length and a half behind, but under a drive. And Fifth Avenue goes by the quarter pole, opening up by two and a half now. Lambo second, wide off the turn, El Peligro and Hey Jojo coming down to the final furlong, and it's Fifth Avenue with a five-length lead over Lambo back in second, the rest with too much to do. They're coming for the finish, and Fifth Avenue broke on top and never looked back. Wins by four in the end. Lambo second, Hey Jojo third, El Peligro fourth. They're in the gate, and they're off. Good start for Ever So Mischievous, and Heartbreaker breaks with him and these two. Go out to show the way. They make the half turn, and it's Heartbreaker down inside who takes a clear lead, opens up to lead by two. Ever So Mischievous backs off to track the pace from second. Three lengths back, communication memo, alongside of graphic detail, and Tepeyu settles in as the trailer, but is only four lengths off the lead. Six for lungs to go, and it's Heartbreaker in front, in front by two. Ever so mischievous, a stalking second. Here's Tepeyu tugging at the rider, advancing toward the inside to be third. Graphic detail fourth, communication memo fifth, but it's a tight pack down the backstretch run. And Heartbreaker's opening quarter was just 24 and one-fifth seconds. It's a moderate pace, and stalking this pace is ever so mischievous in second. They're halfway home. Heartbreaker the leader, ever so mischievous, saunters up alongside. Now just a neck behind as the round the far turn, and graphic detail comes on to Gramp third. Tepeyu's fourth communication memo is back into fifth, so midway round the far turn. Heartbreaker trying to fend off ever so mischievous, who's given a nudge on the outside and comes up once again. These two head-to-head -head by the quarter pole. Graphic detail. Tepeyu back third and fourth. They're off the turn. Heartbreaker, something left, turning for home. Holding on to a half-length lead. Ever so mischievous, fully extended. Trying to push on by Heartbreaker. Down to the final 16th. Heartbreaker's determined. Ever so mischievous on the wrong lead. These two nip-tuck to the wire. Heartbreaker, ever so mischievous. Going to be close. Heartbreaker, Maybe. Nose is up and down. Heartbreaker ever so mischievous. Too tight to tell. Tepeyu third. They're in the gate. And they're off. Harry Hood down inside, creative way, Boone's path, and so two noises off, and brigade commander from the far outside. 
but it is Harry Hood for the inside post to hit the first turn, cut the corner, and show the way. Harry Hood in front. Boone's path comes on to be second. Creative Way backs off them to settle in toward the rail third. Noises off. Down inside racing. Fourth Brigade Commander is now fifth. Testimony time in sixth. Baba Voss between horses while seventh. Now that I can rock, three wide racing in eighth. And then it's Mo Center Days, and Divernon is the trailer. Backstretch run. Harry Hood the leader. Boone's path prompting second to an opening quarter in a moderate 24 and one-fifth seconds. They're moving down the back stretch, and it's Harry Hood in front. Boone's path content to track while second. Creative Way is third. Brigade Commander fourth and only two and a half lengths off the lead. Noise is off, is covered up. Down inside fifth, four lengths off the leaders. Now that I can rock is there. Baba Voss tries to find a seam in some traffic. Farther back, most Saturday's testimony time is at the back with Di Vernon. Round the far turn. Harry Hood still on top. Boone's Path still second. Brigade Commander comes on three wide. Creative Way still down inside fourth. Baba Voss is fifth and only three lengths off the lead. And then it's now that I can rock and noises off in most Saturdays. They roll off the turn and Harry Hood heads for home in front in front by two. Brigade Commander runs up into second. Most Saturdays pops outside and tries to find a way through. And down inside it's Baba Voss. Final 16th. Harry Hood fully extended now. Brigade Commander coming on. Baba Voss is there. But here comes the wire and Harry Hood got it. Going wire to wire. Over Baba Voss in second. Brigade Commander was third. Then it was either Noises Off or Mo Saturday. And they're off. Even beginning, Truism looking for the lead. So too, Summertime Rose. Patty Gal is there. And Catherine Blaze was in a bit tight and had the check off heels. Relegated back second to last. Makita was also in a bit tight as they advanced to the main track. Meanwhile, Summertime Rose has taken over. And she strides out to lead by two and a half. Truism backs off into second. Patty Gal comes away third. Autism Communities alongside of that one fourth. They're five lengths off Summertime Rose. Another margin of four back to Catherine Blaze. Makita and Malibu Smart is to trailer a dozen lengths off the leader. The opening quarter in 23 and 4, and Summertime Rose has built the six length lead, heading for the far turn. Now it's eight. Summertime Rose isolated up top. It is a long way back to Truism, who's back in second. Patty Gal third. Autism Community in fourth. Catherine Blaze is fifth. Makita's in sixth. And outrun so far Malibu Smart as they round the far turn. Summertime Rose with three furlongs to hold this lead, but it's dwindling. It's down to six lengths now. Truism is on the march in second. Patty Gals third. Autism Communities under pressure fourth. Catherine Blaze is fifth. Summertime Rose the leads down to three. It's down to two. It's down to one. Rolling off the term. Summertime Rose. Patty Gal powers up now to challenge. These two, one, two off the turn. Summertime Rose trying to tough it out. Turned back that first challenge of Patty Gal, but it's down to these two. Summertime Rose still in front. Patty Gal could never get by. Summertime Rose, gate to wire. Patty Gal second, Catherine Blaze third, and Truism was fourth. And they're off. And Bertie Lomax breaks in stride and is quickly looking for the lead. Group 18 down toward the rail. Master game was in tight there and checked a few strides right in a row and is all the way back to last now. So it is Group 18 for the inside post out there showing the way. Long Shadow in between up into second. Bernie Lomax broke on top and is keeping pace three wide while third. JVB right behind them, fourth and down inside. Three more back to Circle Back Jack, who's about six lengths behind Group 18. And Master Game with that tough opening furlong is the trailer. And the opening quarter was 23 and 3. They're moving down the back stretch. Long Shadow comes up alongside of Group 18. And these two go head to head as they head for the half mile pole. They're still three lengths ahead of JVB, who's tracking intently from third and is inching forward now. JVB is on the move to within two and a half lengths of the leaders. Farther back, it's Circle Back Jack, who is still fourth. Bernie Lomax in fifth. Master Game 
Lomax picks it up from the back of the pack. Master Game just went right by Circle Back Jack and Bertie Lomax and is within five lengths of the lead as they come outside the quarter pole. Where Group 18 heads for home in front. JVB now second. Long Shadow gives way. Master Game rolls up on the far outside. They're off the turn. Group 18 in front by two and a half. JVB's on the wrong lead in second. Master Game is third, still closing. But in the meantime, Group 18 darts away. Group 18 goes all the way up top and rambles home to win it by seven lengths in the end. Tough luck for Master Game finishing second. JVB and Long Shadow. They're in the gate. And they're off. Boudoir Burlesque and American Starlet. Frozen solid altered shot is there, but it is American Starlet. With an inside post up to grab the lead, and Frozen Solid is up into second. Boudoir Burlesque is right there racing. Third linguistic tucked away toward the rail. Fourth altered shot, fifth. Alarm clock on the outside, sixth. Laura's Charm is seventh, only four lengths off the lead. Five back to Abu Kir Bay, and Fanny and Freddie is the trailer. They hit the far turn, and here comes Frozen Solid to confront American Starlet. And these two round the far turn, short lead Frozen Solid. American Starlet is keeping pace. They've gone too clear. Linguistic coming under a ride with Boudoir Burlesque. Laura's Charm angles to the outside from fifth. So they come for the top of the stretch. American Starlet and Frozen Solid head-to-head. -head. Linguistic tries to find a way through. Boudoir Burlesque is there. Laura's Charm is coming down the center. Final 16th, American American Starlet, Linguistic surging. Laura's Charm with a rally down the center. Linguistic and Laura's Charm. Linguistic held on to do it over the big long shot, Laura's Charm. American Starlet third and Boudoir Burlesque was fourth. And the rough. Minnesota Ready bounces out on top and is quickly out for the lead. Brigadier General is there. Bourbon Heist and King Ottoman. Major fed from the outside. So they make the bend, and here comes Brigadier General punching through down toward the rail to take the lead. Minnesota Ready with that good beginning is right up and on the pace. Two wide second and three wide third is King Ottoman and four wide fourth is Major Fed. Bourbon Heist backs off, settles down. Fifth in behind horses. Coastal Defense racing in sixth. Command Performance advancing toward the rail from seventh. Two lengths back. Roman Centurion is eighth with Gilded Age in ninth. Icarus is the trailer down the back stretch run. The opening quarter in 23 and three fifth seconds. Minnesota Ready goes head to head with Brigadier General. These two bandy past a half mile pole. King Ottoman sent up three wide. Major fed four wide on both turns, but they're honing in. And command performance is poised in behind while fifth. Bourbon Heist in six. Coastal Defense, Roman Centurion, Gilded Age, and Icarus at the back. Round the far turn. Minnesota Ready grabs the lead right outside the quarter pole. Minnesota Ready heads for home in front. In front by two. Brigadier General left behind with Major Fed. Bourbon Heist is wide. Command performance is there. Roman Centurion switched to the far outside. They're off the turn. Minnesota ready. Three length lead heading for the eighth pole. Bourbon Heist comes on to grab second. Roman Centurion is closing in and command performance toward the inside. But it's the final 16th. And Minnesota ready has kicked away. And wins big by five on the wire. Roman Centurion grabs second. Bourbon Heist was third. And Command Performance finished fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Good start. Six missions down inside. Breaks alertly. Orby One is also there. Unwrapped in St. Neots. And farther out is Curlin's in charge. But six missions for that inside post. Takes the field into the first turn and opens up. Orby One comes into track from second as Unwrapped tucks away toward the inside third. St. Neots is three wide, racing up into fourth. Braggadocious covered up inside fifth. Curlin's in charge, advancing from sixth, all the way up into fifth on the outside. Right there, too, is Berrettini racing in sixth, and Braggadocious has shuffled back to seventh. Atlantic Dancer comes away in eighth. Call me Cassius in ninth. Royal Salute toward the inside in tenth. They turn to the back stretch run, and six missions walked through that opening quarter mile. The pace is soft, 25 seconds flat. Not much pressure from Orby One. They share the lead together, and St. Neance is right up and on this soft pace, third on the outside.
Curlin's in charge, is wide to the far turn, and down inside is unwrapped as two lengths off the lead, and Berrettini is right there in the thick of it as well. So on to the turn they go. Orby won with more pressure for six missions. St. Neitz cruising along, three wide and right there, and Berrettini is fourth and right in behind the leaders as well. Curlin's in charge and unwrapped under pressure. Farther back, Atlantic Dancer tries to come up on through. Braggadocious has been buried throughout. They come for the top of the stretch. Orby won short lead six missions right there St. Neitz is back to third Berrettini bearing down the center fourth and Atlantic Dancer comes on from fifth here comes Berrettini storming to the front 16th to go Orby one fights on Atlantic Dancer shakes loose late but it will be Berrettini the winner on the wire, Orby one held second. Royal Salute was a rallying third with Atlantic Dancer. Then it was either six missions or braggadocious.